All right, folks, Alex Jack, Global AG, the key of defense and security exhibition. And we have a car here. It's called uh, the Novator by the uh, Kiev Arms Factory. And it looks in appearance and in its size and shape, it looks pretty much like an Oshkosh JLTV, but it's not. It's not even close to an Oshkosh because the frame is a Ford F550. Uh, it's reinforced and uh, has a standard V8 with 300 something horsepower, I guess 350 or something. The reinforced stabilizer, the reinforced uh, the springs, of course, the reinforced the uh, uh, the gas lift over there and here and it looks nice it looks very very stiff the armor is pretty basic vpm 6 or 7 i guess because it's just six millimeters of armox 550. you have a pretty big door handle here easy to get out standard car lock i guess it's straight out of out of the 450. lock it completely unlock it unlatch it you have here the uh, heavy duty lock and it actually is a heavy duty lock it looks like some 12 millimeter or a half of inch uh, of steel. We have here our uh, shooting spots. Uh, we have here about five centimeters of armor glass. That looks like about the same as uh, an our LAVV Anox. Uh, the thing here that I dislike on this car is that the glass is not um, quick, quick changeable. So if, if it gets hit, it is a whole kind, uh, a whole lot of effort to get it out there and get a new glass in. For example, on our uh, LAPV Anox, we have here, like, I'm not quite sure, it's like eight or ten screws, M14, and you can unscrew a broken window or damaged window and put it back in. <clears throat> Driver's uh, uh, door, all the same stuff. All the four, all four doors are similar. And we see here a very, very, very standard Ford cockpit. Of course, we have here a uh, different radio system our radio system at all. We have here all sorts of controls for the uh, uh, auto defense systems. We have here a radio to talk with the uh, uh, people uh, outside the car for ride control, for example. Um, we have here the controls for the windows, very standard climate controls went. Uh, we have a modified Ford steering wheel. We have modified Ford seats. I'm not quite sure what this is. I guess it's oxygen. Uh, we have here, uh, uh, it, it is a, a heater and a climate control. One more. We have a few seats in the back, and the back of the car is made like a, after a pickup truck, just like on the Oshkosh vehicles. Heavy duty wheels, bead lock, and everything. It's, it's not a central uh, tire inflation system, but it, it, there is a polymer ring in there, so you can uh, keep driving even with a shot tire. Standard fire extinguishers, heavy duty lock over here. The, the latch, the standard Ford F550, uh, but they uh, uh, ha have it on a reinforced uh, lock spot. Not quite sure what this is, why this is broken already. Maybe the measures on this particular model are not perfect. But the door seem to open and close pretty easy. We have here some uh, swivels for our rifles. We can secure them. Uh, we have in the rear, we have uh, heavy duty uh, belts in the front. We have very standard out of straight out of the Ford 550 standard uh, seat belts. I'll try to open this uh, uh, the look over here, but the thing is, it doesn't have any guest list, so you have to be a pretty strong guy uh, to open it one handed. And it has a stopper here, though, so you can put it on stop. Not something I would rely on because if I am here and uh, responding to an attack and this shit closes on me on off-road. I don't want to be that guy because, because it's going to be a pretty bad day. We have a few lights over here. I guess these are strokes as well. Rear of the car is, as I say, standard pickup. We have, we have here on this particular car, we have something like a tall system. Okay, one moment, closing the door. The, uh, closing it again. Latches here pretty securely. So to uh, open the bed, you open this. Pretty heavy with the tire on. With a reserve view. We have all sorts and kinds of tools over here. Uh, we have here our system for the tow, for the anti-tank missile. There's a shoot and forget anti-tank missile, basically the same as a 
as any other shoot and forget system out there, but just it's connected by a wire in there. I would guess if you have to evacuate someone, a few guys would find space here. And this is not the six millimeter armor seal, I guess it's something like more like three millimeters, one eighth of an inch. We have here wheel stoppers, so the car is equipped very, very good. If you take a look at what Ukraine, Ukrainian army was driving with just a few years ago, it is just a step with light speed. A huge step with light speed. This is our uh, exhaust, footsteps, heavy duty front wheels with beadlock. We have here some 12 bolts, 10 bolts. Recreation latches. I'd love to take a look under the hood. Well, that's basically our hood. It's not too thick of a metal. I guess it's just anti shrapnel You see the, the thickness here is two millimeters or one tenth of an inch. And uh, but we have pretty sophisticated engine protection, as I got told. Not sure where it is because at the moment it looks all unarmored down here. Just as I said, shrapnel against mortar. Oh, here I see an armor plate. There's definitely some. Uh, a quarter of an inch, uh, like six millimeters of uh, Armour 600, same on the other side. Uh, our firewall looks pretty solid. Let's take a look at the front. Okay, we see there, you have some, some jalousies in there. Can't say what thickness, but yeah, it looks like uh, also a quarter of an inch, like six millimeters. Looks pretty sophisticated. Six millimeters, right? Yeah, it's a six millimeter, so everything pretty sophisticated. Not quite sure how it will uh, live up in the crash because I can see uh, a monolith construction here, but uh, it will definitely survive some ballistic threats. I guess uh, uh, up to VPM six or seven.